Hey guys, Cam Photo Picks here, and in this tutorial I will show you how to add a watermark to your images or pictures in Photoshop CS5. Now, I've been reading on uh, YouTube and Google Plus and uh, forums and Facebook, uh, people wanting to know how to add a watermark. Now, most people will just click on the text, type in their text and save it. Now that's okay, but with programs like Photoshop, uh, nowadays you can clone that out or heel brush that out or depending if they've stuck it at the bottom of the picture here, uh, you can crop the image or most people maybe even add it into a black piece of text uh, where they can just paint over it. Uh, so that, I'll show you a way how to do this. That will kind of stop it's not foolproof, but it's a lot better than what it is on text. So what we'll do is we'll just get rid of that. Now this will require, require you to basically build an action. And what this does is, every time you have an image, you just click one button and it will automatically add the watermark and set it all up for you. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So what you do is you go to Windows, Actions, and then down the bottom here, create new action, click on that and we'll call it my watermark and then click on record. So from now on everything you do it will record it as one action. So now what I want to do is select the image I want as my watermark. So I'll go to file and open and you just basically find the image you want to keep now every time you've got to have this image you use as your watermark in the same location on your hard drive or in your on the folder for this to work every time. So I've selected this. This is uh, the logo I want to use. Uh, I do photography for my local community website which is paisley.org.uk. So I'll select this image. I know this image is a wee bit too big so what I'm going to do is just make it a wee bit smaller. Now all these keystrokes I'm doing, it's recording in this window. So now what I want is the magic wand. I'm just going to select the text, hold the shift key down, select the middle part and select the line. Go up and click on copy. Now go to your main image and select paste. Now as you can see that's added that in there and I can move that about and it looks quite quite nice just sitting there. Uh, I mean you could even just save it like that and uh, if you liked the way it looked there just click on stop. But what I'm going to do is just show you another couple of ways of how to get this looking really good. So what we'll do is we'll click on the FX button and we'll select Drop Shadow. Now in the Drop Shadow and the Distance, we shall set to zero. Click on Bevel and Emboss and then click on OK. Now what you want to do is in the Fill, you want the Fill down to 20. So I'm just going to highlight that and select 20 and in the opacity I'm going to select 80. You can kind of place it anywhere in your picture and you'll see the picture coming through the background from it. So I can have it really anywhere I want and you can still see the logo sitting there. So then once I'm happy with that I just click on stop. And now that is written and recorded my watermark. So to show you this in action, what I'll do is I'll just close down these windows. And what I'll do is 
I'll select another image from my hard drive. Let me see what I'll select. I'll select another uh, picture of this. This is a fire engine, uh, a Jeep fire engine. So, pictures there. I want to add a watermark. So, rather than go through all that, all I need to do now is Windows, Actions, and at the very bottom you'll see my watermark. Click on that once to highlight it, and then click Play. And it basically does everything for me. And as you can see, there's the watermark added into the picture. So you can basically play the, place this anywhere on your picture. And it won't look out of place in the picture. And it would be a lot harder for somebody to try and get rid of that. To paint that out than normal. Alright. And the same goes for text. Uh, easy way to do it for text. I'll just show you. Uh, should select a picture and we'll choose this one and text my watermark. Now obviously you'd be recording this before you'd start. I'm just going to show you this without it. So my watermark then click on FX drop shadow Bring the distance down, click on Bevel and Emboss, click on OK. The fill you want to 20%, opacity you want to 80, and then if we can select the text, you can make that slightly bigger. And as you can see, you can still see the picture behind the text. So you can just have that sitting there. Right click in your background and there you have it. That would be a lot harder for somebody to get rid of. So I hope this tutorial has been useful. Check out my blog at camphotopics.blogspot. Don't forget to subscribe to this video on my channel so that I can keep making more videos for you and I hope this has been of some help. Cheers, bye.